Okay guys, we're right back outside the St Chad's where the main demolition started. It's Wednesday the 10th of May, if you will already know. I happen to get the very, very first bit of this demolition on video. Um, just got back from the dentist, came straight down here, was in the right place at the right time and was lucky to get the first bit on my camera and I'm still here now filming. Sadly this may be my last video for the morning because I do have to go for it. But I am going to stay here for another 10 minutes or so and get as much as I can on video for you guys before I have to leave. Either way, I really hope you enjoy what I have been able to film and I will be back every day that I can make it. Oh. Excellent, big class. I'm so glad we got that on camera. I ought to get as much of this this morning, this first bit of video as I can. Quite a few people watching now, people must have just heard the noise and come down. With that last grab, that whole bit of roof came down in a big dramatic clap. Well, not so much a clap, more of an intentional pull down, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's all happening here today on St. Chad's Road and the promenade, the pulling down of the old iconic St. Chad's building that's St. Chad's Terrace, I mean technically this is the old chip shop area, the old Regency Hotel, the small limit was next door to that and beyond that is the actual St. Chad's Hotel if you want to like really be correct but this is still all apart of St. Chad's Terrace guys we are watching the main demolition of this side of the whole building. Take on a digger though, that's for sure. And if this is going to be my final video of the day, or of the morning, which it very probably will be, you can always find that there'll be other people that have come down there to film in the afternoon. Caroline James normally comes down in the afternoon, Carol Scaling usually comes down in the afternoon so you can check out either one of those I'm sure you'll find someone there's literally a ton of us that come down in the afternoons to film I'm just the one that comes in the morning because I work afternoons and evenings so I've got to get my filming done in the morning my hand is really aching now I'm cold and my battery lights flashing and Hopefully my battery will hold up for the next four or five minutes just to finish this video. Anyway, we've seen a lot come down.